Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crown. Today, we'll be reacting to Made in Abyss Season 2, Episode 10. And in the last episode, Princess Faputa has finally been freed from her imprisonment. I believe it was uh, Wazukyan who said that they have lived in that village for 150 years, which means Faputa has been trapped inside of that barrier, plotting her revenge on these villagers for 150 years. And the reason why she couldn't leave was because this barrier was preventing her. And so Regu and Faputa made a little bit of a deal where uh, Faputa would offer like uh, parts of her body, like I think it was her arms that she offered to him so that he could give it to uh, Belof to get Nanachi back and in exchange he would help her destroy the villagers. Now we know that Regu, he's a pretty good guy. I highly doubt that he would want to slaughter the villagers or see the villagers slaughtered. So when he fired that blast that went through the great sage guy and hit um, Faputa's nest, kind of making a big hole for her to exit, I wonder if that was intentional or not. I feel like it was an accident. I don't think Regu would intentionally want to free her so that she could slaughter these guys, but uh, hopefully we find out in this episode. Let's just hope that Faputa has somewhat of a change of heart because I don't know, it'd be really heartbreaking to see like Ma get slaughtered, especially because as many of you guys pointed out in the comments, a lot of the old villagers, like the original villagers, are still here, but there are a lot of new generation villagers, like Ma, like, um, oh man, I can't remember his name, but the, the guy that's like in the machine, like these guys are new, they didn't do anything wrong, so to see them get messed up by Faputa, that'd be pretty heartbreaking, but I guess... We just have to watch and find out. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. I will be uploading this series every single week ASAP. So make sure you're subscribed so you know whenever I drop a brand new reaction. And lastly, if you'd like to check out my uncut reactions, you can find them over on my Patreon, which you guys can join for as low as $2. But with that all out of the way, we'll be starting this episode in... Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, Nanachi's awake now. I forgot, that was like the last scene of last episode. Yep. I had you breathe in my experiences. Dang. So Nanachi pretty much knows everything about the backstory now. Wow. Dude, Beloff is such a good dude. Oh man, she's probably already thrashing those guys. Dang. Wow. Dude, Beloff is so cool, man. The boundary line. Oh, snap. So Midi only exists while she's within the village. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know, is that her? She's getting closer? No, wait, no, 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 that's the force field. I'm dumb. That shaking and that destruction is her.
Man. Poor Nanachi. She's definitely in a tough situation. Wow. Wow, I love how the camera's like blurring as her eyes are watering. Man, this episode's already starting off heavy. God, I don't want to see the destruction now. I, I don't want to see it. I, I, I don't know if I can handle it, man. Oh. oh my god, this is so sad, man. Just seeing your best friend evaporate like this. Dang. Oh my god, man. The episode just started, dude. It's already so sad. Oh no. What is this? Oh my god, dude, this is, oh, I can't. Oh my gosh. Is that a hat that they made for her? And Beloff too. Dang. Oh my god, dude, this episode. <laughs> what the heck? Oh no. That does not sound good. At least Ma's okay. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Oh, my God, that sound. Dude, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can watch it, man. Sounds like people getting ripped limb from limb.
Jesus. Oh my god. This is just... Holy crap, this is intense. And look, like... <sighs> oh my god! What happened to her eyes? Oh! oh my god! Jesus Christ! This is, this is too much. Oh! Oh man, they're all fighting together, but... Oh! Oh my god, man! Oh no. Oh no. And even these things are on uh on Faputa's side. Thirty minutes. Oh man, oh man. Regu versus Fabuta. The only person that's probably strong enough to stop her. But I don't think he's gonna use strength. Or at least he wants to avoid it. I think he's gonna try to use the talk no jutsu. Wow. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh! He said I don't have to. I'll stop you right now. Oh no. Oh wow, flashback? Oh man. Tsuragu, <laughs> before he lost his memories. Oh, whoa! Okay, that transition was sick. Wow, so her teeth couldn't even bite through it. Oh no. Oh no, what's going on? Is she like fusing with it? Oh my god. Oh wait, didn't she eat it last time to heal? Okay, okay, that makes sense. Or not eat it, but 
she like was wrapped up inside of it and then it healed her. Oh my god. She's so fast. Oh no. Oh my god. Jesus, she's so brutal, man. Oh no. <sighs> Jesus. That's all he has to say? After all of that? Stone people. Dude, it's, uh, how are they mixing such wholesomeness with this brutality, man? What the- <laughs> Dude, I swear, they squeeze this in, like, every four episodes, man. Oh, and that's why she wears it. Wow, that's so cool. Oh man, she's conflicted. Is she really going to slaughter her best friend here? Oh, again! Oh, snap! Okay. So let's see what he can do in this new form now. Dang. Oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> hey, we feel the same way, Fabuta. We have no idea what's going on here. Alright. Prushka. Wait, stone person? Is that what she was referring to? The white whistles? What? Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. So now we're getting answers. Interesting. Wow, so Fabuta 
Well, like she said, she was testing her. Dude, what the heck is this? Is it raining fire? Jesus. This is literally hell. <laughs> what is going on here? Whoa. Okay. Wazukan, so this is his plan. Hmm. Wait, what? So this isn't the first time that it rained fire. Hmm. Oh, so she's trying to end her suffering? Wow. So that's why she can't... She couldn't enter the village until now. Hmm. So did he ever accomplish his mission then? So this is where the like promise was made. I'm glad to see that Regu, at least personality-wise, is still the same. Hmm. To swim through that? Dang, how long did that take? Because that's like the water that they had to take that pod through, right? Wow. This is the promise. Wow. So that was the promise he made. Dang. Is he going to be able to keep it up, though? Is Or is he going to be able to, I guess, uh, follow through? That's going to be really sad for Fabuta, too, though. Becoming, like, such great friends with someone and, you know, refusing to forget about them. But then when they come back, they've completely forgotten about you. Man.
He remembers now. Dang. But. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No way. There's no way. There's no possible conceivable way that they thought it'd be OK to end it right there, dude. This should have been like an hour special! What the heck? Oh my god, I felt like I was watching a movie. Like, I was just as invested in this episode as I was with the movie that focused on Bondrude and uh, Prushka. This was such a good episode, man. And the writing! Oh my god, man. This is... Dude, oh my god. I gotta, hold on, I'm gonna have to sit down and have a real, like, uh, meditation about, no, 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 I don't even think I'll need to question it, man. I think this is probably the best anime of this season, at least that I'm currently watching. I think this is the best one, man, holy crap. It just, it has a little bit of everything, like, wholesomeness, there's a little bit of comedy, action heartbreak and it does it all so well man now i'll admit the first couple episodes when they were building up to it it was a little slow but obviously it's because they were trying to set the scene and now that it's been set now that we're at the climax this is peak man holy all right so that was the end of the episode and my question of the day for you guys is just simply going to be what are your thoughts on that, I guess, uh, flashback between Regu and Fabuta because, man, it's, it's so complex. Like, the emotions and everything involving that backstory is so complex because the one thing I was thinking about was, I believe, didn't Fabuta uh, say that, like, she wanted to pretty much be together forever with Regu? But, since making that promise, Regu has not only forgotten, like, all of his memories, but on top of that, he's also met Rico, and him and Rico are very, very close. I don't think they're at, like, a, you know, romantic relationship sort of stage yet, but they care a lot about each other. They've been through so freaking much, and now, it's, it's really up to Regu, like, is he going to, you know, is Fabuta going to die here and he's going to, you know, continue forward with Rico? Is she going to accept the fact that they can't be together anymore? Are they actually going to, you know, get together and then Fabuta's going to join us on our journey? There's so many different ways the story can go from here, so many different directions. And uh, I want to know what you guys think about all of that. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.